In this video, I'll demonstrate how to bend, warp, and twist your text to create some spooky t-shirt designs for Halloween. With the Typecraft app on Canva, we can easily manipulate our design text into any shape that we like. This allows you to create some amazing Halloween text designs that really stand out and grab attention. So to access Canva and follow along, go ahead and click the link in the video description and let's head over to the Canva homepage. So first, let's start by opening up a blank t-shirt design project. To do this, let's go up to the search bar up top here and type in Halloween t-shirt. From the results drop down menu, you should see a tab that says Halloween t-shirt with the t-shirt icon beside it. Go ahead and click that now. This will take you to a page where you can view tons of different Halloween t-shirt design templates. For this example, we'll be starting from scratch, so let's click here to open up a blank template. This should take us to the Canva editor where we can create our Halloween t-shirt design. For this example, I'll be going over how to create some unique designs by bending, warping, and twisting your text. But before I add my text, let's add a few graphics to my design first. To do this, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and go to the Elements tab. From here, we can easily use the search bar up top to search for any graphic or shape that we want to use with our design. I want to find a ghost graphic, so let's select the Graphics tab to view only the graphics in my search results. From here, I can view all the graphics on Canva related to the keyword ghost. There are tons of free graphics to choose from, but if you want to unlock all the graphics, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. So for the Halloween design that I'll be creating, I'm going to need to add three different ghosts to my template. Once you add a graphic to your template, you can easily click to move it around or drag the corners to resize it. And for many of the graphics, if you select it and go to the toolbar up top here, you can actually change the graphic colors. So I've added and arranged my ghost graphics, and I've also added some text bubbles to make it look as if they're talking. When creating your Halloween designs, feel free to try different things out and get as creative as you like. So I've added the graphics for my t-shirt design. Now let's go over how we can add text and bend, warp, and twist it to make it really stand out. So to customize our text, we're going to need to use the Typecraft app. To open up Typecraft, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and go to the Apps tab. Here's where we can browse through all the various apps that are available on Canva. In the search bar up top, let's type in Typecraft. In your search results, you should see the Typecraft app, which is the blue icon here. Let's click it to open it up. And here's where we can easily bend, warp, and twist our text to use with our designs. So first, let's type in the text that we want to add to our design in the text field up top here. For my text, I'm just going to type in the word boo. I think that's appropriate for my ghost design. Underneath this, you can use the tab here to select a font for your text. From the fonts menu, you can use the search bar up top to search for a font or simply scroll to browse. The font that you select will depend on the design that you're creating. But since we're creating Halloween designs, here are a few font suggestions that you may want to check out. So for my text, I think I'll just go with this font here. Once you select your font, go ahead and click the back button at the top left. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the Typecraft menu, you'll be able to see a preview of your text and your edits. So if we go back up and look underneath the font section, we'll see a section where we can select a style for our text. You can select to have no style, have your text unfilled, or add an outline to your text. And remember, whenever you make any changes, you'll be able to see the updates in the preview at the bottom. The outline style will add a colored outline to your text. And if you select unfilled, only the borders of your text will be shown. But for my text, I don't think I need to add a style. So let's select none. Underneath the style section, you can select your text color. If I click the color icon here, it'll open up a menu where I can select any color that I wish to use for my text. But for my design, I'm actually gonna stick with black. So now that we've added our settings, let's scroll down and go over how to edit the shape of our text. If you look at my text preview here, you'll notice several points around the edges of my text. These are what you can use to easily change the shape and manipulate your text however you like. For my text, I'm going to try to make it match the shape of one of the text bubbles on my template. So let's manipulate the points here until I get the general shape. Also, I think I want to add a period to the end of the word. So let's scroll back up and add a period in the text box here. And when I scroll back down, the period should now appear in my preview. So go ahead and get your text as close as possible to your desired shape. And once you're finished, scroll down to the bottom and click the Add Element to Design button. And my new text has been added to my template. So let's drag it over to my text bubble and adjust the size to see if it fits. 
Not bad, that's actually pretty close, but I think we can make it a little bit better. So to make changes to my text, make sure we have it selected, and let's go back to the Typecraft app on the left hand side. I can now adjust the shape of my text, my text settings, or anything else I like. And once you're finished making your changes, go down to the bottom and click the Update Element button. And my text will then be updated on my template. Feel free to do this as many times as you like until you get everything perfect. So I think that'll work for my first text bubble, so now let's add text to my other two as well. To do this, let's click off my text to deselect it, and then we can go back over to the Typecraft app. So let's scroll back up to the top and go through the exact same process. When reshaping your text, take your time and feel free to make as many changes as needed. And if you need to update another text element on your template, simply select it and make your desired changes. You can easily change your text, your fonts, your text colors, add style to your text or whatever else you like. So for my Halloween design, I've added text to all three of my text bubbles. Instead of just adding regular text, Bending and warping my text to change the shape makes it look much better. So now that I'm finished using the Typecraft app, I can still continue editing my Halloween design by adding more text, more graphics, or other design elements. So now that I'm finished creating my Halloween t-shirt design, let's see how it looks on some t-shirt mockups. To check out the mockups, let's go up to the top of the page here and click the Print with Canva tab. This will open up a menu where you can access the mockups and order t-shirts directly from Canva as well. If you scroll down, you'll also see a section where you can change the t-shirt color. So let's scroll back up and click the enlarge button here to check out the mockups. This allows you to view your design on several mockups so that you can see how it looks. And if you need to make any changes, feel free to do that in the Canva editor. But if everything looks good, you can order t-shirts directly from Canva using the menu on the right hand side. But for my design, I want to download it to my device. So let's close this menu here and at the top right of the page, Let's click the share button. From the drop down menu, let's go down to the bottom and click the download icon. And here's where we can select our download settings. Under file type, make sure you have PNG selected. This will allow you to resize your design and download it with a transparent background. And using the size slider bar here, I like to resize my design to at least 3500 by 4500 pixels. And if you plan to add your design to t-shirts or products in your print on demand store, you'll need to download it with a transparent background. This will remove the square background from your design so that it's not shown on your t-shirt. But in order to resize your design and download it with a transparent background, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. If you don't have Canva Pro yet, make sure you click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial. So once you're finished selecting your download settings, go down to the bottom here and click the download button. And your new Halloween design will be downloaded to your device. Let's open mine up and check it out. Not bad, my ghosts actually look like they're in a hunting practice class. I can now add my design to t-shirts and the products in my print on demand store. If you don't have access to Canva Pro yet, make sure you head over to learnwithjason.com or simply click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial. With Canva Pro, not only can you access all of Canva's t-shirt design templates, but also export your designs with transparency to add to t-shirts, access the entire Canva library of images and graphics, and tons of other tools and features to help you create amazing designs. If you haven't already, make sure you click the link in the video description or in the pinned comment to access your free trial of Canva Pro. So that's a quick overview of how to bend, warp, and twist your text using the Typecraft app on Canva. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.